guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's video, we are doing a kind of a random style video. A video that it kind of is kind of fitting towards my channel because I do do a lot of bath related videos, especially on my Instagram stories. So if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, definitely go check me out there. I will post my Instagram right here for you guys and it's also listed in the description box down below. But I do do a lot of random bath stuff on my um, Instagram story, so if you guys are interested in that. But for tonight's video, I do want to do a test in the bathtub, I guess. Um, I want to do a test with my skin. So I do have eczema all over my body, and it kind of sucks. So if you guys don't know what eczema is, eczema is a medical condition in which patches of skin become rough and inflamed with blisters that causes itching and it can cause sometimes bleeding depending on how severe your eczema is. So for example, I have eczema right here. I get eczema patches all over my arms, I get it all over my legs, I get it on my face sometimes too. It's really unpleasant. But a lot of the time, um, a lot of eczema that, at least for me, is allergy related, but it can also be related to the stuff that I'm putting into the bathtub. So what I want to try tonight is, I went to the my local drugstore today, and I picked up this Cherry Blossom Bubble Bath. So this is the Culligan Take Me Away, so it is a... Japanese cherry blossom um, scented. It has vitamin E in it for moisturizing. And let's see, read the back. It says, take a little me time, lie back, relax, and let the warm water and luxurious bubbles en envelope the body as the Japanese cherry blossom fragrance takes you away to a warm afternoon, basking in the sun. Collagen's unique formula with vitamin E and aloe softens the water and leaves your skin soft and moisturized. So if you guys have been to my channel before, you guys know that I really like aloe vera, I really like that in skincare, and I really like it in bath products and hair care products and stuff in general. I use it all the time, and it's really good for your skin. So some of the ingredients that are in it, there is water, there is a sulfate ingredient in it, so like a soap ingredient, there is um, aloe barbatus, which is the aloe vera leaf, um, there's the leaf juice, and then there is a bunch of stuff in here that I can't really read or pronounce. There is a fragrance, um, it is the Japanese cherry blossoms, it's like a perfume. So that could be one of the ingredients that is going to bother my skin, I'm not too sure. I really want to test this out and see if it does create more eczema on my body or not, or if this is going to be really, really great for sensitive kind of eczema skin. So this is kind of a test for you guys to see if you guys have skin issues like me or skin allergies like me and you want to go to the drugstore and you see these on the shelf because they're so in inexpensive, this was literally only $3. So if you see this on the shelf and you're like, oh, I really like bubble bath, but is this going to bother me? I'm going to be your guinea pig and I'm going to let you know. So um, a bunch of the ingredients that are in here says, I'm going to try to read them. Here we go. There's glycol distrate. There's a steroth for... There is tetrasodium eta, there's a citric acid, there is a myth chloral sulfazone ingredient, there is a methylazone ingredient, there's red 40, red 33. There's a bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> um, so there is a bunch of ingredients in here that, again, might bother my skin and might not. So like the vitamin E will be really great for my skin, the aloe vera will be really great for my skin, and I'm really interested to see if it's going to be the perfume, the fragrance ingredient in here that is going to bother me or not, or if this is going to be my new favorite bubble bath. I usually do um, use my bubble bath from Lush or from Shop Miss A. If you guys are unfamiliar with Shop Miss A, they are a $1 bath bomb fragrance makeup skincare store. It's an online store that you can shop at and they have $1 bath bombs and their bath bombs are really great. They also have $1 bubble bars and their stuff surprisingly does not bother me as much as the other things that I've tried in the past. I have tried bubble bath from Shoppers, which is our in Canada, which is one of our drugstores that has broken me out so horribly bad in eczema. If I have a photo, I'll post it right here for you guys. Um, if not, Jill just have to take my word for it that I broke out horribly in eczema and it was awful and it was from bubble bath. So I'm really interested to see if I'm going to um, react to this or not, or if this is just going to be a really awesome bubble bath. So I want to open it and smell it. So it says that it smells like Japanese cherry blossoms. 
So it does smell really good. The Japanese cherry blossoms from like Bath and Body Works smells a hell of a lot better than this. This does smell really fragrancy and really perfumey. So if you don't really like that strong of a scent, um, like a perfume fake scent, you might not like this. But it does smell like Japanese cherry blossoms. It really does smell like the Bath and Body Works, like the lotion, the cherry blossom one. It smells very similar to that, but just a little bit more on the cheaper end because it is a lot cheaper than Bath and Body Works. This entire thing is. 30 fluid ounces, so 887 milliliters for like $3. So very inexpensive and really great. So I'm gonna go run my bath right now. We're going to pour a generous amount, because that's what it says, it just says directions pour a generous amount into warm running water to create a luxurious scented bubble bath. Follow with a collagen body cream and mist. I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna go pour a generous amount in the bath in my running water, I'll take you guys with me and we can see how much bubbles this is actually going to create and then I'll give you guys my review and my reaction if my skin is itchy or not. So I'll come back on here after my bath and I'll talk to you guys about how the, the bubbles were in the bath and if I liked this bubble bath or not. And then tomorrow I will come back on here and let you guys know if my skin did break out in eczema. I'm hoping it doesn't because I want to use this bubble bath but again, it was only $3, so if I do react to it, it's not like I'm wasting a crap ton of money. I'll just put on some eczema cream and continue to use the stuff that I have. But we're gonna go test this out right now, so I will take you guys along and we will run my bath. Now the bath water is running, and here is the soap. And we're going to pour in a generous amount. I think that's a generous amount. I think that's pretty good. It's like a quarter of the bottle, I guess. Something like that. Yeah. So hopefully that makes a good amount of bubbles. It smells really nice. It does, like I said, it doesn't smell as good as Bath and Body Works, um, the cherry blossom one, the Japanese cherry blossom one. But it does smell pretty good, especially for only being like $3. I would say that this is pretty great. So I usually just use these, which are um, bubble bars from Shop Miss A, and they work pretty well, but they don't work nearly as well as the Lush ones, and the Lush ones are my absolute favorite. So I'm hoping that this bubble bath will be anything even remotely close to what I get for bubble bath <laughs> with Lush, but probably not. It's probably just going to be average, but we shall see. So I will show you guys what it looks like once uh, the tub has filled. It is, um, takes about five or ten minutes to fill. So I'll come back once it's full and we can see. I'm not going to add anything else to the water tonight. I'm just going to let this do its thing and we will see. All right, so this is how many bubbles we got with using, I think it was what, a quarter of the bottle. So we got a significantly good amount of bubbles. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed for just like $3 bubble bath. Sometimes you pour that much bubbles, <laughs> bubble bath in water and it does nothing. So I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, the one that I was using recently for the last month or so was this one. It is the just the Equate, so it was like a citrus one. And it didn't bother my skin. It didn't break me out in eczema or anything. You got a little bit more, I think, yeah. You got about, you got 946 milliliters versus 887 milliliters, but um, I think they were about the same price. They're both like no name brand. Well, actually Colligan is a pretty big brand, I think. Um, so I'm impressed with how much bubbles that we got. I think that this is a significant a decent amount of bubbles. All right, so I am back from my bath. So I have finished up with my routine and Honestly, the bubble bath, as you guys saw um, in the video that I just posted from my phone, it did fill up a lot. Um, it was kind of impressive for $3. I, I'm not mad at it. The only thing is, is it really didn't last very long. So like Lush or other the other bath bars I use, the bubbles tend to last a little bit longer. This stuff after about half an hour was basically gone and I was just left with a little bit of fizz left in the tub. But so far my skin feels nice. Um, it feels really, really soft and I honestly don't have any like more itchy feeling than I normally usually already have. So basically I can only give you a little bit of an update tonight. I'm going to give you guys a further update tomorrow to let you guys know if I broke out in eczema or not. And that's all I can really say. It smelled nice, it felt nice, and the bubbles lasted about half an hour. So if you have like 
average length bath so you don't stay in the bathtub for like an hour, hour and a half like I do, um, you probably will like this little bath. It was only $3 so really you can't go wrong. But I'll let you guys know in tomorrow's um, update if my skin broke out in eczema or not and we can go from there. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys. So it is the, not the next day, it's the next day after. I actually didn't have time to film yesterday so I'm coming back in um, a day later and I just wanted to give you guys my update on the bubble bath. So the bubble bath did not bother my skin at all. It um, actually, it worked pretty well in the bathtub. Like I said, it the bubbles kind of diffused after about 30 minutes so if you like bubbles that last a little bit longer, it's not really that great of a bubble bath but for being so inexpensive it's not that bad. Um, it did fill my tub up with a lot of bubbles like you guys did see but again, like the bubbles went away pretty quick. So if you have really long baths like I do, I have like an hour to an hour and a half long baths. So if you have really long baths like me, you might want to invest in some higher quality bubble bath. But just for being from the drugstore and being really inexpensive, I highly recommend it. It did not bother my skin at all. I don't have any new eczema all over my body. My body feels pretty good. My skin still feels really soft and I'm really impressed and I'm really liking it, especially for it only being $2. So if you guys are on the market for a really cheap um, inexpensive bubble bath, I definitely recommend it. If you have sensitive skin like me and are prone to breaking out in eczema from perfumes and stuff, I definitely recommend this brand. Sorry guys for the commotion, my uh, boxy charm for June actually just arrived now, even though it is literally the 7th of July. Annoying. Um, so if you guys are really on the market for a really great bubble bath, I highly recommend it. It's really great, it's very inexpensive, and it worked pretty well, it worked like bubble bath, so just add more bubbles I guess if you want longer lasting bubbles. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, I know this video was really random, I know this video was just like the most random thing ever, but whatever. Thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!